Hi, welcome to Oizom Academy. Let's begin with all you need to know about chlorine. Chlorine is a highly reactive, a greenish yellow gas with a suffocating, pungent bleach like odor that is detectable at low concentrations, which is above 0.3 to 0.5 ppm. It is highly oxidizing in nature and has bleaching properties. Chlorine is heavier than air, which causes it to remain in low-lying areas or areas near ground with little air movement. Elemental chlorine is rarely present itself in nature due to its high reactivity. It can be formed from atmospheric reactions of chlorine-containing compounds like NO2 and through oxidation of chlorides in presence of strong oxidants in the atmosphere such as ozone. Once released, it rapidly combines with other chemicals or compounds in the atmosphere to form secondary compounds instead of remaining in pure elemental state. Chlorine gas is commonly used as an household cleaner and disinfectant, oxidizing agents in water treatment to disinfect drinking water, as disinfectant in industrial applications such as food processing, pulp and paper mill, and water cooling systems, in bleaching process in pulp and paper mills, and ink removal from recycled papers, in manufacturing of many products such as paper, antiseptic, insecticides and so on. Chlorine is majorly toxic due to its oxidizing and corrosive properties. On contact with chlorine gas, the hydrogen in moist tissue splits from water, producing hydrogen chloride, which damages tissue. It also forms hydrochlorous acid that penetrates cells in the body and destroys the cell structures by reacting with the cytoplasmic proteins. Low-level exposure of chlorine causes eye, skin and respiratory tract irritation, sore throat, coughing and so on. Higher levels of exposure to chlorine causes burning of eyes and skin, chest tightness, narrowing of bronchi, rapid breathing, wheezing, blue colouring of the skin and so on. Very high exposure may cause severe burns to eye and skin, lung collapse, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, etc. and may lead to death. Chlorine gas does not have a direct impact on the environment. However, it contributes to environmental problems such as ozone layer depletion, global warming and acid rain. Continuous or high level exposure of the chlorine can quickly deaden a person's sense of smell, making odor of chlorine an unreliable indicator of its presence. Hence, other means such as the use of chlorine monitors is a viable solution to provide adequate warnings of hazardous exposure. Different working principles for chlorine monitoring in the ambient environment are pulsed NDUV, that is non dispersive UV absorption spectroscopy, semiconductor, and electrochemistry. At OISOM, we measure chlorine on principle of electrochemical sensing. It operates based on diffusion of chlorine molecules into the sensor, which results in the production of an electrical signal proportional to its concentration. OISOM's Odosense is the real-time odor emission tracking solution. It continuously detects, measures and monitors the odorful gaseous contaminants including chlorine, hydrogen sulphide, ammonia, sulfur dioxide, methyl mercaptan, TVOCs and methane and weather parameters like temperature, humidity, wind speed and wind direction. With the help of meteorological data, Odosense can trace the odor in dispersion plume incited by conditions like wind speed and wind direction. Odosense is a proactive approach to measure real-time odor emissions. This makes it an ideal choice for landfill sites, wastewater treatment facilities, fertilizers, paper pulp industries and soil treatment sites. Real-time monitoring of chlorine levels helps in determining the source as well as formulating an action plan to chlorine emissions. I hope you now know all about chlorine. For any questions or suggestions, please contact us. Thank you and happy learning.